Hello, I'm Chuck Smith, the National Sales Manager for RDL. You may know us as Radio Design Labs. Today we're going to be talking about some of our new remote level controls or volume controls. Um, we've made remote level controls for years in all different sizes and shapes. Uh, some that are simple rotary knobs, push buttons, some with or without LEDs. And today we're going to be talking about our latest models, which we're very excited about. These are the DROC 10s and the DROC 10Ms, and they, come, they each come in three different colors, stainless, white, and black. Uh, the DROC 10M has a mute feature, whereas the other two do not. The idea behind these is they actually communicate with each other digitally. So we can run one up to 10 remotes and daisy chain them together to all control one volume level or one, the, the audio level of one system. Um, the, they talk to each other digitally, but the output zero to 10 volts uh, DC. Now we use this voltage to actually control a VCA, a voltage controlled amplifier. And what this does is through voltage it actually allows solid state circuitry to tell audio volume levels to raise lower depending on how much voltage it gets back. We've got a little stick-on unit. Some of you guys are very familiar with our small stick-on units. Probably the most cost-effective way to design a multi-remote system to control the, the volume level of, of any PA system. Uh, if you need stereo, we also have a new RU VCA 2A, and it can be run as mono as well, but it's uh, a two-channel designed for stereo. And we have a new RU VCA 6A, which is a six-channel. And a six-channel would be ideal for multiple zones. It's also great for all the 5.1 surround sound uh, content providers, um, radio and TV broadcast, um, internet uh, content providers, folks like Netflix, uh, things of that nature. and. Um, it makes it very easy for them to be able to take the entire 5.1 channels of audio and simply control it with one knob. Now, the remotes themselves, I want to come back here, these have some neat features that I want to point out to you. Since these are daisy chained together, as I increase any one of the knobs, you'll actually see that they all track each other. And that would be the same situation as maybe in a ballroom. You could have a couple of remotes up front where the main entrances are. You could also have a few more remotes back where the wait staff would enter the ballroom. And anybody could grab a, knob, a, a volume knob anywhere and control the level of the system. Also, whenever you grab any particular knob, the LEDs actually get brighter. And they'll stay bright for about four or five seconds and then go back down to a, a they'll dim back down to a, a lower level so they're not blaring at you while you're sitting in a nice dark lecture hall, for example. Um, the mute function has two features, uh, two programmable outputs, I should say. What that means is you can actually uh, mute the system or turn the system off, either way, and when it restores, it can either restore to exactly where you left the volume control, what position you had it in, or it can restore to a preset level. It can be programmed to do either or. Um, the preset level comes in handy if for example, if you had a background music system in a restaurant, maybe during the day you have a nice background music level, but at night um, it gets a little bit more rowdy, it kind of turns into a bar atmosphere and the music gets turned up. Come back, back in the next day, turn the system on and it will restore to the preset level. So it's a nice feature, nobody has to second guess what was that perfect level for the system. So please see more and learn more about the D ROC 10, ROC 10M, and the RU VCA 2A and 6A on fullcompass.com or again, see your Full Compass representative. Thank you.